Hey, Connor. Hi. Uh, I wanted to show you today how to play a game called Pig. I play this with my students all the time to build their fact fluency with numbers smaller than 20 um, and 20. Uh, I'm going to pick three dice today, but you can actually, when you play this with your students, pick kind of the best die for their, for their age. So the 20-sided die is probably better for older students, but I'm going to use just the six-sided die. So this game is called Pig because if you get a little greedy, you can end up losing all of your points. And basically the way it works is you get a turn, you roll. If you get one one, you lose that turn. If you happen to roll two ones, you lose all the points you've accumulated in the game so far. And if you get three ones, well, you are an automatic winner. But that doesn't happen very often. Interesting that... Getting a one a third time flips it and it's actually good. Are there any real pigs in this game? There are no real pigs in this game. Okay. So my first turn, I lost my turn. All right, your turn. Okay. So when I play this with my students, I usually ask them to give me their strategy for adding. How did you add this? I added these two together first because they are common in that you don't see the actual number. So I think my brain automatically gravitated to put those two together. Oh, okay. Gravitated them together. So okay. 8 plus 6, 14. Now... Oops, actually you, I meant... Yeah. No, that's right. You did it right. But if I was like working with a student, I might actually say, why don't you add the double first to oh, make okay. 6 plus 6 and then add the 2. Just because that would be easier for students right. to manage that mentally. Okay, so your score is... I'm recording this, but your score is 14 and my score is 0. All right, I'm going to roll again, or did you want to roll again? I'd like to go again. Okay. I want to win and put this out of reach. Oh. Okay, so see, this is why it's called pig, because if you get a little bit greedy, you lose all your points. So you and I are now tied at zero. Okay, so I have a six and a four and a five. I'm actually going to put the six and four together first, right, to build. That's upside down to you. Sorry, guys. Plus a five, uh, to make ten first, and then add five, so I have 15. And I'm going to stay because I don't want to lose the few points I have earned. Your turn. Ah. Okay. So you did the, the ones that have just dots? Yeah, even though you just told me not to do that. I feel well, like that's what my brain gravitates to. No, that's fine. Your yeah. strategies are all valid. I just wanted yeah. to know what your strategies were. So you picked it again because they both have that, but not because it's a double? Yeah, I just gravitate. I just put dot to dot. Oh, okay. So eight plus five. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Good. Do you want to keep thirteen or do you want to? I'm gonna be a pig and go again. Okay. Yeah, Is it okay I'm to make that edit. sound during the game? I'm gonna edit that out. Post production. Six plus five is eleven plus six, seventeen. Okay, keep in we keep in there. Okay, and then you have to add all your points together when I'm doing that for you. So you have thirty points. Okay. All right, I will I'll let you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh oh no, I got a one. All right, your turn. Ah. Oh. Uh, oops, that was a, that was a six. That's a six. So six and five, eleven plus one, or you could even make it six and six. Ooh, six, six, twelve. I'm keeping there. Your turn. Five plus you could do five plus five. I'm gonna encourage you to not not add this the um. The dice that you have to subitize, they're called it's called subitizing, where you look at that, you don't count one, two, three, four, you just know what's four. Mm -hmm. Um, and actually, if you had a choice, I would pick all these kinds of dice, um, just because it's easier for it's better for students to practice that, mm -hmm. that, that practice that skill. So, I if I were you, I would think about maybe adding making 10 first, so five plus five, 10 plus four, 14. Okay, so you have 44. I'm doing the counting for you. Obviously, if you were a child, you would get to be a runner. I like doing my own work. <laughs> do you want me to give you a paper, too? No, that's okay. All right. So I you would, wanna... however, like to go again. I'm going to be a pig. Okay, go for it. 
Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> this game is fun, but... A little frustrating? Yeah. Okay. All right, so then when you play this game, because you, you could play forever, you usually play to a, an agreed-upon number. And then when I work with students one-on-one, -on -one, I'm really trying to get them to think about um, facts and how, flexibility with numbers, figuring out how to, what order to add numbers in to make it the easiest for themselves. So, for example, here I have two and four. It's hard to see. That's upside down. But two, I'm going to add the two and four together first to make six, which is, I don't know, it's, in my mind it's, it was easier. Six plus five is 11 because I just know that fact, 6 plus 5. So I have 11, and I'm also ca calculating this all over here. We're going to play to, let's play to 50. Um, oh, 4, you can't see that. 4 and 5 and 4. So I'm going to do 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 5 is 13. I think I might have. Oh, I got to 51. That's what I wanted. And I'm at 30. You are at 30. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Maria. I learned a lot playing this. You're welcome, Connor. Thanks for playing. 